there, Taurus. This is your reading for the month of February 2024. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. Also visit JanetSkyBot.com. You can book a reading there. Also, Metaphysical Meanderings is the podcast. I've already, this is, a, I'm taping this early. I've already had three of the predictions off of my podcast have come true. Um, there was a recall and I said, predicted, I hit that. I also said an earthquake that hit in the Midwest, which was Oklahoma. And it was something else. I don't remember. But you guys always fill me in. Tell me anyway. All right. So joke of the day. All right. What do you get when you mix a four leaf clover with poison ivy? You get a rash of good luck. So there you go. Which is true for everybody, especially for my earth signs and Aries, Leo, and then luck, just luck out of the clear blue is coming for a lot of people like a, like an Aquarius and a Sag and a Libra. So think about that. Okay. So let's take a look at what we've got and um, we'll figure out what we're doing here because it's been, it, remember it is an eight year and eight is the infinity sign. I'm an eight. If you, I had my birth date together, I'm an eight. Um, it's extremely powerful. It's extremely transformative. It's very much about balance. It's very much about owning your own power. So be thinking about that. All right. So we got, are you, do you have a new start? It's a, there's a spiritual new start possibly coming. And yeah, there, you're, now you might be taking a trip, but there's there, you're moving quickly. Ooh, you're getting your wish. Wow. Okay. I'm pulling cards and I'm like, wow, I'm going to show these to you in a minute, but let me explain these. Wow. Okay. So I don't like to be a Pollyanna. I, but I sometimes am because I'm a Sag. Sagittarians have a tendency to be a Pollyanna. And there's something from your past. Oh, you got it. Now, I'm a Taurus North Node. If you want your sun, moon, or rising, that works for the cards work, but they also work for the North Node because the North Node is why you're here. Okay. All I know is you got your wish. You got the sun, which means yes. Okay. And there's a new start. There's a new start. And, you know... So this is upside down. Now, this is going forward. This is, maybe you can't quite get going the way you want, as fast as you want or how you want. And it's, it's just acknowledging that. But there is something that's happened in your recent past, or it could be from your past, that's happened. It might even be a little nostalgic going forward. But look at this, you got the sun. The sun is the best card in the deck. And it's all about yes, 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 yes. Okay, and... There's a lot of emotion involved this month. As you know, um, you're getting your wish. You're getting your wish. With a yes, how much better could that get, right? Now, some people may be taking a trip. There might be a trip involved. Um, this can mean just going forward or a trip. And someone's going to be helping you too. There's some type of help involved, okay? And um, this is, this is uh, all right, this is hard work. This is has it all been worth it? If I, if I, do I need to do more work? It's you analyzing yourself. Because remember, these are all, when they're upside down, they're emotional. And you waited and waited. And it's been about, a, it's been over a month, 30 days. So whatever, and I'm, and you have to remember, this is the whole month. So it might even be the last week of February. But there's all about a wish that's being granted. And the sun is the best deck card in the deck. Okay. So like I said, this is you and making investments, waiting for things to grow, things to happen. They're, you're going to have to be making a choice, but they're not completely giving you all the information yet. So it might take a jog in the road there, the uh, way you're thinking it's going. So, all right. Um, like I said, I'm going to show you these cards, but there's really positive. It's a good thing. I still say there's going to be increases in money. For Taurus, it's going to be much bigger um, for Capricorn, it's more of a, you don't see much until the end of the year, or, uh, mid year, excuse me. And Virgo is real big. So let me show you the cards. All right. Go look at your wish. And that's your destiny. That's your future. This is a future. And there's going to be a choice that's going to have to be made having to do with that. Yes. They're encouraging you to just go with this and go with your gut. Decide what decisions you're going to make and stick with it. Now here's an increase of money. It could be an increase of money, okay? Somehow, some way, all right? With a new start involved. And it's very, very spiritual. 
So just remember that. All right, all right. So I'm going to right now uh, pick up my other deck, which is my Angel Oracle I've been using. I get get a little, you know, bug up my butt, and I, there's certain ones that I want to use, and that's it. So, okay, so hold on. Now, they're reminding you to take care of your health. Now, I'm not saying anything bad is going to happen because I didn't see too much in the card, uh, cards, but remind, be more thorough. Be, what are you eating? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be more conscious of it. It, you know, do not procrastinate. No offense, uh, Torians can procrastinate. I don't know if you knew that, but we, they can. They're because they're like a bull. They don't run. They go at full. They go at steady steam ahead. And so the, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Uh, Taurians and Leos have a tendency to procrastinate. All right. So angel of positivity, stay positive. Angel of unity. They, you know, use the people around you just to to get to where you need to be. Now there is clarity coming by the end of the month. So I want you to be thinking about that. All right. Blessings to you. Make it a great month and help you make the planet a better place.